So Julie, Julie, how are you today? Hey, good morning. I'm doing good morning. great, thank We're you. Super happy to have you. And um, so just a little bit about Julie. She's one of, I don't know, she's just one of my, I love her, fan, fun person. Um, she runs an extremely large team, a big team compared to all the teams that we have in the company um, in the Grand Junction office and has been motoring that for quite a while. And I asked her to be here today just to kind of share how she's created that, um, what makes it important and uh, how she really lives in it and enjoys what she does. I mean, I'm always finding that when I get together with her and her team, there's a super great synergy that happens. So um, super glad to have you here and, and be part of what we are all about, it, which is about learning how to do things maybe differently in real estate. So question for you, Julie, when did you first start in real estate? So I'm licensed, I became licensed in 2014, January of 2014, but my husband and I had bought and sold properties for ourselves, um, both commercially and residentially, um, you know, prior to that time. Nice. So you bring a little bit of history from both sides is what it sounds like. That's awesome. Did you start alone? Or were you this alone standing agent when you first started? So the idea was that um, my husband and I were going to do this together. We had worked together for many, many years um, with a group of radio stations that we managed. And we had five radio stations, actually, that we uh, managed. He was in the operations side, and I was, in the, um, I was the general manager for the um, for the uh, operate you know, for the stations. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, we did that for uh, almost 12 years. So once we decided to, you know, once I decided that I was going to get out of that, um, we, we thought, oh, it'd be fun to, you know, do the whole uh, real estate thing together. But he had ideas that, you know, he really, he embraced the idea of uh, becoming retired. So I think his... <laughs> His path forward was more along the retirement. I, I think I'll go ride my bike and hang out and stuff. So, um, and actually he's just, he's, you know, been wonderful. So instead of doing the, the dual, you know, husband, wife team, I decided just to do it, you know, on my own with him in the background and, you know, doing a lot of the other, other stuff and not have to be there on a day-to-day -day basis, which has worked out honestly, fabulously for both of us. Nice. I was going to say, I kind of know what that's like, because I kind of have that same thing, which is <laughs> drop them off, let them be retired. And then that must be the strength of that great personality that you have, which is I'm just going to go for it. And I want to change my whole life um, literally in 2014, which feels like yesterday when you really get down to it. It's not, you know, you haven't right. been in business for a long time. So um, what made you um, decide that real estate was something that you wanted to do? Was it just because you were connected to that piece initially or was it just like, what did you want from it? So I started, I actually went out and got, I left, a, I used to be a general manager for beer distributorship way, way, way back. And um, before I transitioned into um, working on uh, starting up with some new radio stations and stuff, what I did was I, you, re, uh, real estate's always been a passion. So I took all of the courses and got up to the week of the test. And then um, I had two very small children at the time. And um, the gentleman that owned one of the radio stations that was embarking on this, you know, building a, uh, a large group of them, he called me and said, Julie, I'd love for you to take over my sales um, you know, selling real estate and I'm sorry, selling radio and, you know, doing that sort of thing. And I, you know, I, he offered me insurance and a little more, um, you know, as a single mom, it was a little more of a comfort thing for me to more security, I suppose. So I opted to not take the test, jumped into that side of things. And actually, I really feel like that really enhanced my um, background for marketing and uh, awesome. promotions and things like that. So you know, my life just took a little different turn and, you know, it was always part of it. Real estate was always something I was fond of. Um, and, you know, and as I mentioned earlier, my husband and I did it myself, ourselves. Mm -hmm. And then um, when we had the opportunity, when I made the decision that, you know, I'm really going to do this thing for, 
you know, give it a good shot. I, you know, went for it and, you know, I've never looked back. It's something I've embraced and absolutely love. So what, what made you create a team? Well, ironically enough, my sister was, um, she was able to, she was getting ready to retire from um, Colorado Department of Transportation. And she was thinking about something part-time and I'm like, you know, you, you really should, you know, come on, come and join me, you know, we can work together and stuff. And then Beth Rubikov is another gal on my team. And I'd known her for, well, she and her husband and I had gone to school together since we were in junior high and she was kind of looking for something part-time. And I'm like, oh, you know, this would be so much fun. You know, we could cover for one another. So it really started out to be something that was more just, you know, let's do some job sharing and we can work at this and, you know, have fun together. So it really was, you know, started with that, with that thought in mind. And we've just continued to grow and grow. Rhonda Bever, who's on my team, she and I used to work together when she was the director of marketing for city market stores. She, she oversaw all of the marketing for the entire chain and they were based out of the Grand Junction office. And, you know, in my previous life, she and I worked together on, you know, marketing and promotions and stuff. So it just became one thing, you know, we've, we've this, kept in touch yeah. with one another and it's just, it's worked out really well. Well, it definitely sounds like you took on real estate, but you also took on your pack of friends and you made it something <laughs> that you're sharing together, which is really awesome because it didn't sound like it was, you didn't cultivate the idea and then decide that was the destination. You allowed that to play out as, as you, as you supported other people. And right. I know, you know, in your group, you have a few men, but most of it, most of them are women. So um, as, as a woman, what's your best piece of advice for someone about real estate and, and, and what's the benefit there for you? The benefit for? Well, being a woman in this business and, and being able to support the group of women that you have on your team, what are, what, what makes the everyday worthwhile? Well, I feel like I've worked for a couple of very large corporate companies that um, there were, you know, definitely barriers when it came to, you know, male versus female and stuff. And not to, you know, sound like we're back in the, you know, 60s, 70s or whatever, but I don't feel like there are any barriers at all in real estate. Number one, the flexibility is, is incredible. And that can be both beneficial, but that can also be something that can be challenging because some people, when they're given too much flexibility, it's hard for them to adhere to a uh, regular routine and, you know, regular uh, work ethic. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, you know, this, this is something you can, if you have young children, um, you can definitely work around their schedules. I get to see, you know, a lot of my grandchildren's, you know, uh, school programs and stuff like that. I'm able to schedule my my day around, you know, my family and, you know, my parents. Uh, you know, they're elderly, and we we're, we're able to help them with their medical. Um, side of things, or if they're in need of things, you know, it's just, it's much, there's a lot of flexibility with this. Well, and Julia, it's, you know, I, I think all I can say is if I was living in Grand Junction and I was an agent, I'd really want to be on your team because I just, that, that, that support, there's a lot of support. There's a lot of support for, like you said, the challenges and the easy parts of being in this business. And that for anybody that wants to build a team, I think you just bring a really great inspirational piece, which is stay true to your values, network with the friends that you want to put in the business with you and support each other. And I know that's why your team is successful. And if there's anybody out there on this call that's interested in building a team, I'm sure Julie will walk you through some of the things that have worked for her. I'm sure there have been some challenges that she hasn't shared, but I know that when I meet this team, around the table. They're just super animated and supportive supportive of one another as they build our business together. So awesome job, Julie. So glad that you were here. Thank you for taking time and just thank you for sharing because I think it may motivate someone else um, in our company to do what you're doing. Well, thank you. And again, ha anybody that's interested, have them reach out and call me. I'm happy to offer. We do not do things the traditional way by any stretch of the imagination. So always right. happy to chat and answer any questions I can. Perfect. Thank you, Julie, so much. Glad to have you.